Hello friends, welcome to Text Study Cell. After watching this complete video, you can control any ordinary 12 volt or 5 volt LED strip from your smartphone without writing a single line code. Here you can see I have made the complete circuit on the Zero PCB with the help of this PCB layout. And if you want, you can also connect Amazon Alexa to control this LED. Alexa. Window light brightness 5%. Alexa. Window light brightness 90%. You can also select any effect from this list. The LED will start blinking according to the effect. And you can also customize the effect, change frequency, brightness according to your requirement. If there is no internet, still you can control the LED with IR remote and with this three push button. With the first button, I can turn off and turn on the LED. So this is the power button. With the second push button, I can change the mode. It is in blink mode. If I press again, it is in breathe mode. And for the long press, the brightness will slowly decrease. And if I press again, it will increase the brightness. So for the long press, the brightness will change. And for the short press, the mode will change. Then with the third button, I can go back to the solid mode where LED will glow constantly. For this project, I have used WLED which is a free platform. You can easily install the firmware. After that, you can configure the ESP32 from the WLED app. In my previous video, I have already explained how to control addressable RGB LED using WLED. You can find the link in the description. But in this video, I will explain how to control any ordinary white LED using the WLED. These are the required components for this project. Now we have to connect all these components as per this circuit diagram. The circuit is very simple. Here you have to give 12 volt DC supply. For ESP32, I have used 7805 voltage regulator and the IR receiver connected with the GPIO33. Now here the ESP32 will generate PWM signal at GPIO13 which is connected with the base of the TIP122 NPN transistor. According to the PWM signal, the transistor will on and off to control the LED brightness. You can also control the brightness manually with these push buttons. Although you can make the circuit on the breadboard, but to make the circuit compact, I have designed this PCB using the Altium PCB designer software. This video is sponsored by Altium, a world-class PCB design software trusted by many of the biggest electronic companies. The user interface is so simple, you can easily design any complex PCB in Altium. It brings together PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. It also provides centralized cloud storage, automatic backup and many more powerful features. And if you are a student, you can also enroll Altium Student Lab for free to get access Altium software and online PCB design courses. After completing the course, you will also receive a certificate of completion from Altium. There are many other key benefits, so I highly recommend checking out the Altium Student Lab. You will find the link in the description. Just enroll using your university email ID. It's a great opportunity for students and a great initiative from Altium to help you grow your skill in electronics design. If you want, you can download the PCB Garba file from the video description. But in this video, I will make the complete circuit on the Zero PCB. For that, you just have to download the PCB layout. Then print it on a A4 page according to the dimension mentioned on the layout. Then paste the layout on the zero PCB. After that, place all the components one by one on the PCB as per the layout. Now we have to connect all the components according to the circuit. Here you can take help from the bottom layout to solder and connect all the components as per the circuit. Here you can see our PCB is ready. Now let me first connect the ESP32, then 7805 voltage regulator. Here I have connected a heat sink with the regulator, then TIP122 transistor, IR receiver. Now I will connect the ESP32 with my laptop. Now to install the WLED, just type install WLED, then go to first link. I will also share this link in the description. Then from here, select the version and here I will install it in ESP32. So I will click here, then click on install. Now select the COM port, 
click on connect then select install WLED. I will check this erase device box and click on next then click on install. Now it will start installing the firmware to ESP32. This may take some time. Now click on next. Now we have to enter the Wi-Fi name. I will select the Wi-Fi name. Then enter the Wi-Fi password. Click on connect. Now you can also add this to your home assistant. I will just click on visit device. Now from this dashboard we will configure the GPIO. So I will go to config. Then LED preference. From here I will select the LED type. Here I am using normal 12 volt LED strip. So I will select PWM white. Then I will select the PWM pin in the circuit. Here you can see I have used D13 for PWM signal. So I will select 13 here. Then I will configure the button I have used in the circuit. So with D23 I will turn on and off the LED. With 22 GPIO I will change the mode and control the brightness with the 18 button I can go back to the normal mode so let me go to configuration select the first button which is connected with D23 from here I will select push button then I will select D22 in the second button and here I will select push button for the third button I will use 18 GPIO 18 and also I will select push button now if you don't want manual control just keep this step don't configure any button here now I will select the GPIO connected with the IR receiver so in the circuit here you can see D33 connected with the IR receiver so here I have selected D33 then from here I will select the remote type here I will use this remote otherwise you can also click on this link then from here click on this link and here you will get the remote details I am going to use this IR remote so I have selected 24 key IR remote again if you don't want to use IR remote control keep the setting as it is at remote disable now after doing all this I will click on save then go to back so this is our main dashboard now as I said before if we press the second button it will change the mode and with the third button I can go back to the solid mode for that I have to quickly define a preset so I will go to this plus icon then give a name say to solid or you can give any name now I will uncheck this box and here I have to type a very short API command fx equal to 0 then in the id i will enter 100 then click on save now i will go to config again then from here i will click on times and macro and here i will enter the preset id which is 100 for the third button and if you want you can also schedule the on and off from this screen now i just change the preset id for the third button I will save it so I have assigned the preset to third button in this way you can also create multiple preset and assign it to different button now here you can see I have connected the 12 volt supply and the 12 volt LED now I will install the WLED app you can download it from the Google Play Store or App Store and also let me turn on the supply now I will tap on open now I will just refresh it so it automatically found the LED device so if I go to 3 dash icon and go to setting here you can see automatically discover new device is on now let me select a dark theme then I will exit from the setting now first I have to tap on this device then from this slider above the effects I can increase the brightness to turn on the LED so now the LED is on I can also change the name let me go to edit mode here I will give the name window light you can give any name so now it is showing window light now from here I can turn the LED off then turn it on then if I go to effect I can change the effect from this list you can select any effect now let me go back to the solid effect now I will control the LEDs from the push button so with the first button I can turn off and if I press it again I can turn it on now with the second button I can change the effect you can also monitor the real-time feedback the ESP32 and your smartphone must be connected with the same Wi-Fi network now let me press the second button short press 
I will just press the third button and it will go back to the solid mode and we can also increase or decrease the brightness from this slider now let me control the LED with the IR remote let me turn it off now let me turn it on and I can also increase or decrease the brightness let me decrease the brightness you can monitor the real-time feedback here now let me increase the brightness now we will try to control this LED with Amazon Alexa for that I have to go to config again select the sync interface then I will scroll down here I will enable the Alexa voice assistant and you can give any name let me give the window light Alexa will identify the LED with this name now I will save it I will go back to the dashboard now for this project you need a eco dot which should be connected with the same Wi-Fi network now let me open the Amazon Alexa app then I will go to device then tap on this plus icon select add device then select light scroll down select other then tap on Wi-Fi then tap on discover devices during this time the eco dot esp32 and your smartphone must be connected with the same wi-fi network and this may take some time so here you can see device found i will go to next i will just go to device for that i will tap on this device icon and this is the window light so this is a very useful project you can control any led with this wled platform and it has lot of other features if you want me to make another video let me know in the comment section if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day